everyone. Carol here in her art room. Today I'm going to do a balloon smash. I'm using a black background this time. Let's see how it turns out. So I'm going to spread my black paint, which I tried to make a little waterier, waterier than my normal. So I'm spreading it out. So I'm going to try to make a heart, but a different heart filled in in the middle. Let's see how this comes out. Every time you try something, you never know what you're going to get. You kind of do, but you kind of don't. Sometimes things change. some paint on my sides here. I don't want it too thick, but How this goes. All right, so um, my balloon is here. It's the one I've been using a lot. Actually, I, I have two, so can switch it up. I'm going to use red. This is a bright red by Artist Loft. So when you when it puddles in there, it goes away pretty quick. I've got silver. This is a um, Deco Art Dazzling Metallic. Silver. I had some uh, dimethicone in the silver. I was going to make the red with some dimethicone in it too, so I'm going to pour some in my little cup. I don't like to mix it in my big cup of paint because then it's, it's mixed and if I don't want dimethicone then I already have it so I have to mix so there I put one big drop in there I don't like to store my paints with silicone or dimethicone in it either not too long maybe a short period but all right so I'm gonna pour some on this plate use some white also. The white doesn't have any dimethicone in it. Okay, so let's see if I can make some little marks. Start there. I'm going to stand up so I can see Just to sort of give me an outline. It's going to be different than my last one. It's going to be filled in in the middle. All right, so. Okay. 
All right, let's give this a whirl.
Did I say I was finished? There, I'm done. I stop. If I keep going, I'll wreck it. So I'm gonna hold this up, give you a close up. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like it. Red, silver, and white on black. Thanks for watching and come back soon to Carol's Art Room. Please subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, and uh, I'll put the dried results at the very end like I normally do. All right, bye-bye. Hello everyone, it's Carol. I'm here to show you my dried painting. Get you a close-up. Dried really good. I'm happy with it. It's gonna look so awesome varnished. I can't wait to varnish it. And there you go. Dried results. Come back soon. Bye bye.